Hey dolls, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing Jack o' Lantern. Now this is actually my second time doing this, so yeah, let's get started. I use my eyeliner to do half of the face to trace it. And then I'm gonna go with my good side. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first using Maybelline Tattoo, one of the best eyebrow pomade. I'm using the eyeshadow Violet Wasp. I got this from a boxy charm. And I'm going to start, once I do the concealer, I'm gonna start with the soft color, the lightest color. And then I'm gonna go in with the orange one. And I have to tell you, these colors are very soft, easy to use, and I so far love it. One of the best palettes that I've gotten from BoxyCharm. Now I'm using one of the Jeffree Star on... Actually, I did a video of this. I unboxed the Mysterious Box, and that's what I got. Mini Breaker. And to be honest with you, I kind of regret doing this part. Because the orange was a little too dark. But it's okay. Looks presentable. Now I'm going to go with those of Colors. I'm going to choose the darkest brown in here and this is from just of color baked brown Once I'm done doing the cut crease, I'm going to go back to the palette by the boss and I'm going to go with a yellow. Now this one is like a yellow gold, which is really nice. I really like it. it doesn't have a lot of fallout, it's very easy to apply. And then I'm going to go in the middle with the orange one. I have said this a million of times already. One of the best face paints by Wet n Wild. I love it because it's creamy. You don't need water. It's very creamy, easy to apply. Uh, I like it to draw. I like it to make like paintings, like face painting. You can create anything, honestly. Um, good price, good quality, and yeah. It's one of the best, highly recommend. So now I'm doing the evil side of the Jack of the Lantern.
I'm using the yellow part for my under eye, kind of like a highlighter to make it brighter. I'm using Wet n Wild eyeliner, and when I'm doing like um, drawings or like small paintings, I like to use like a small tiny brush. So I love this one, some liquid eyeliner, and it's one of my favorite. I use it all the time. Now I'm just doing the final touches um, for my Jack of Lantern. I hope you guys like it. I tried. It's actually my second time doing this, so yeah. Um, I'm just doing the final touches, blending. It's very important to blend. Uh, I always tell people like, you start with a little bit and that's what I'm doing right now. I started with the lighter brown and then I go in with the darker brown. And then I put in a little bit of eyeshadow to, you know, have that illusion. But you start with a little bit and then you blend in and yeah. The eyeshadow that I'm using, I always go with the ones that I use from my eyes. So it can be the same color. Um, I'm using the, those of colors, baked browns, the darkest brown. So it can have that same matching colors with the eyeshadow and the Jack of the Lantern. And here is my final look. When you change the colors, it looks so much better. So you know that during night time, Halloween night, it's gonna look really good. But here's my final look. <laughs> Happy Halloween, you guys. <laughs>